welcome back to our HP ALM and Quality Center video tutorial series on quick tips and tricks brought to you by the Results Positive team. We keep the videos short and to the point so that you can become a resident expert in no time. In this video, we will continue working within the management module on releases. Specifically, we will show you how to assign requirements to releases and cycles. Simple enough, right? Well, if you work as an IT practitioner, you know how important it is to understand what requirements are going live in a given release, especially if you're an agile team and pushing chunks of functionality to your end users quickly. HP Quality Center and HP ALM make it easy for us to effectively organize releases, organize cycles, and also associate requirements and groups of tests, otherwise known as test sets, to our releases. Before we get started though with this quick lesson, we want to take a moment to point out a few key differences between HP Enterprise Edition and HP ALM or Application Lifecycle Management Full Edition. A few of the tabs that you're going to see on my screen like Release Scope and Master Plan in this video tutorial may not appear in your instance of HP Quality Center and you ask why. Well. HP ALM includes advanced release planning features, such as defining the release scope, defining a master plan, and establishing a scorecard. HP ALM administrators have the ability to define specific thresholds within project customization that actively monitors a given release across specific criteria, such as past tests, past requirements, etc. The scorecard is an invaluable feature often used by upper management to answer the inevitable question of how are we doing. And by the way, if you would like a desk aid for any tips and tricks we demonstrate, just email us at info at resultspositive.com. Enough with the talk though, let's get to the lesson of assigning requirements to releases and cycles. As discussed in our introductory session, HP Quality Center's modules work in concert with one another. Let's start with the requirements module. Simply enough, you click requirements and you click requirements again, which ex expands it like an accordion. To the right, you'll see the requirements tree and the requirements detail view. Personally, we like the requirements details view as you see here, but you can change your view by simply clicking view. For our example, I'm going to associate the entire contract processing folder to service pack SP05.15. To do so is simple. Right click on the folder, select assign to release, as you can see, a pop-up window appears. You're probably going to see it like this with your folders collapsed. Go ahead and drill down on the folder where you created the release. Select the release by checking it. Click OK. It's going to ask you, do you want to apply this to all sub-requirements? Yes, you do. So everything within this folder, all of these sub-requirements, have now been associated with SP05.15. Next, I'm going to assign a, a few specific requirements within the contract processing folder to the functional cycle that I created under SP05.15. So a few of these requirements you might be testing during the functional testing cycle. So perhaps this particular requirement, determine net price. So I'll right click, select assign to cycle. Again, similar window, except select cycles. Just drill down, find the associated cycle, functional, click OK. Once I'm finished with the assignments, I'm going to go back up here into my management module. I'm going to find my release, functional. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. OK, so I assigned a, two requirements to this specific cycle. And if you want to see them, you just click here. And this is just a confirmation window asking it. Basically, you'll drill down into the requirements module and it will release any filter you have in the requirements module. There we go. Easy enough, right? Well, this concludes our video tutorial on assigning requirements to a release and a cycle. Check back with us as we dive into other functions. For organizations that own HP ALM full licenses, we will also cover milestones and KPIs, enabling your team to track thresholds across important factors such as requirements coverage or test pasts. We thank you for watching HP ALM and Quality Center Tips and Tricks, brought to you by the Results Positive team. And if you need more information or would like to see a job aid or user guide on any of these video tutorials, feel free to email us at info 
at resultspositive.com. Thanks again and have a great day.